Britons, I love you. But there are just some very weird things that you're doing. And today we're going to talk about the most weird things about British people and British culture. I have lived in two other countries, in Bulgaria and in Italy, and anywhere that I have traveled, I haven't really seen those things, so we'll get into some deep shit. And I asked you guys on Instagram, what do you want to see? Weirdest things about the UK or about Italy? And the answers were very close, so we're doing both videos. So don't forget to subscribe. Number one. People seem to be apologizing, saying please, thank you, and sorry all the time. So conversations many times go like that. Sorry, could you pass me the salt, please? Are you trying to make a British accent here? Because you're very bad at it. Ah, I'm, I'm really sorry to disturb you. Oh, thank you, thank you so much, sorry again. Number two, you can talk about the weather pretty much anytime. Isn't it just a lovely weather today? Oh no, here it comes again. And my weekend was so great, it was so sunny all the time. There was just a slight touch of rain at 3 o'clock, but for the rest of the time it was just amazing, darling. How about you? Number 3. Britain's obsession with tea. Can I have some tea, please? You should usually expect to be offered a cup of English breakfast tea. I have strawberry one, which is really nice, and maybe also rooibos. English breakfast? Okay, as you like. You should use freshly boiled water. Also, we put milk in our tea. So milk should work, right? Not really. Recent research has found that the best Dunkin' biscuit is a rich tea biscuit. Oh yeah, of course, I got you. I have some biscuits. Mm, mm, mm. That is so good. Four, the drinking culture. And don't get me wrong, I come from a place where we drink a lot. But here it's kind of acceptable to be drunk on a Sunday when there is sunshine at 11 a.m. You go and get a beer or it's a nice afternoon on Friday, you go and get a beer and don't say this to anyone, but stories tell me how people get back to their offices drunk on Friday afternoon. But let's just keep this between me and you, okay? Five, it's again about the drinking. I'm just not over it yet. But you guys, I don't understand why they don't eat while they're drinking. Like, why? So when you go to the pub, maybe after a couple of beers, you might get crisps and uh, pretty much that's it. You don't really eat and you stay there for hours. So if someone please can explain to me when do British people have dinner if they go to the pub? Seven. You're right. Um, don't be awkward like me, this is not an actual question and apparently you're not supposed to answer. Oh no, sorry, I was wrong before, this one is even worse. I'm alright, I'm kind of having a little bit of a bad day because I didn't sleep so well last night and I'm... So you're not supposed to answer more than... Yeah, you? And that's it. Seven. There seem to be like millions types of puddings. Nut pudding, bread and butter pudding, bread pudding, coconut pudding, Christmas pudding, cloth the eggs pudding, festy pudding, fidget pudding, fruit hat, grotty pudding, hedges, jam roly poly, malware pudding, mon mont pudding, queen's pudding, pocket dick, steak and kidney, sticky toffee pudding, sweat pudding, summer And let me tell you, from all this, none of them is the pudding that you were thinking of. Number 8. Britain's obsession with queuing. Basically, the first month that I got in here, I felt like all my life is about queuing. Britons love queuing so much, there is usually a queue to get into the bus, there is a queue to get into the metro, there is a queue now for the supermarket. Queues are everywhere and being polite is really important. Sorry, is it just me or there is nothing wrong about that? So I went from a place where queues look something like this and where the strongest one wins to a place like this where no matter how urgent your thing is, it's even unthinkable of surpassing anyone. Nine, 
Britons think that it's already time for summer clothes when they're 15 degrees outside. Let me tell you this, when they're 15 degrees and there is a little bit of sunshine, I feel so strong and say, okay, let's do this, finally time for a leather jacket. And then I go out and see all Britons are already wearing sandals and just a t-shirt. Then, pop quizzes are a thing. Every pub has its own quizzes on Friday night, on Saturday night, so if you want to have fun with your friends, you usually go to the pub and there is a pub quiz. Honestly, if before coming here, I never did quizzes, maybe apart from school, and then I see all those people here getting crazy excited for doing another quiz when drinking, and I just can't get my head around it. What's so much fun about it? Wait. Last time that I saw you, you were doing one of these as well. Let's rewind. Oh, what vegetable in an, an ancient Egyptian place his right hand when taking a note? 11. No one talks on the buses. So let me tell you this. I land in London and I take the bus. What I think, oh, okay, perfect. I'm gonna call my parents. I'm gonna call my boyfriend. I'm gonna send some voice notes. Oh God, I was wrong. So it's complete silence, you guys. If you go to the bus in Italy, like everyone is shouting because there are so many people talking at the same time and everyone is speaking out loud. Whereas here, it feels like you're in a class during an exam and no one can say a word. 12. People were so nice and polite all the time that I find it very hard to understand what are they actually thinking. And I'm so sure that half of British people don't like me or don't like my job or whatever, but they're so nice to you that you can never really understand what do they actually think. Thank you so much for your time, for your effort, for your incredible job and for completing this task. It is so creative, innovative, groundbreaking, amazing, never the same. Never heard anyone speaking like that. 13. Their ability to stay calm. So the whole building could be on fire, everything could be going down, everything is going wrong, but they will still remain calm and polite and just be super nice. So my boyfriend just lost his job. I should organize the funeral of my dog. Wait, did you just say you're organizing a funeral of a dog? Who does that? And after that I should do the shopping, but kind of running down on money. And I don't really have time because I should be commuting for three and a half hours, but this is all totally okay. We can do this. 14. Girls tend to wear a lot of makeup and kind of having natural makeup or no makeup at all days is not really a thing here and i can see your glitter eyeshadow from 10 meters now 15. bus drivers were the rudest people that i ever met in the uk and it, this might be just my experience don't get me wrong but every time i see them shouting at people if they don't follow the rules exactly or they always remind you that they can also not let you in the bus and i always see them like getting into fights with passengers which i had never seen anywhere else and once i wanted to take a sandwich inside the bus and they started shouting at me so much and i was so hungry and so sensitive that yeah, I just started crying in front of him <sighs> and I made a huge scene, but I guess this is who I am. Are we done with the bus points here? 16. On which side of the escalator do you stay and how fast can you get your credit card to pay before you get out of the underground or the bus? It's a really important thing and it defines what type of person you are. Forget everything that I told you, this is when British people won't be as polite. Washing machines are usually in the kitchen and I don't get why, because I don't really want my dirty clothes next to my food. And I need to wash the clothes. Sorry. <laughs> and 
I was saving the weirdest one for last and I swear I have never seen this anywhere else. So there are two tabs for the water. One is for the hot and another one is for the cold. So you either have your hands burning or your hands are cold or even worse, you have your left hand being burned and your right hand being super cold and you, then you just touch them and I guess you get the perfect water that you want. Let me know in the comments down below if you have an explanation for any of those things and also which of those surprise you the most. And don't forget to subscribe because on the next video we'll talk about the weirdest things that Italians do. Thank you for watching guys, bye!